So I have two phones with status app installed on both. And let's uh, add each other as contacts and start messaging. So the left phone will be adding the right phone to uh, his contacts. For this we have this blue button with a plus. And we need to select uh, option add new contact. Uh, we have several possibilities, several choices. First of all, we can uh, copy paste public key sent to you by your friend, or you can scan QR. Also, this QR code could be sent uh, like a picture, or you can just uh, scan it from the uh, another device. So, on uh, the right device, I will open user profile, tap on the user profile picture to uh, get this screen and tap on the show QR. It shows the QR code of the public key and uh, on this phone I just tap on scan QR. You can see that the public key is inserted and uh, to add a contact I need to tap on this uh, check mark. So we have added a contact and we see that one-to-one uh, -one chat is opened with some uh, strange username. Strange uh, is because our user has completely other name, emulator. And here I have three words. This is expected and uh, this is because your friend did not add you as a contact yet. For this, uh, chat with you needs to be opened. And this add to contact uh, button should be tapped. After this, you will see the real user profile name. So don't be afraid if you see completely other randomly generated name. It means that your friend did not add you uh, to the contacts yet. So we can start chatting. What else can be sent? Uh, we can send emojis. We can send a uh, location command. You can't send just empty location command. You need to provide some address. And then the map uh, with this location will be sent. Also, you can send and request ether. For this you have two options, uh, let's say I like to request Ether from my friends, I tap on request command, I provide amount I'd like to get, and my friend needs to type, sorry, needs to t tap on the message, and send command with that exact amount will be uh, created, so I just need to send it. If I do have enough Ether, this screen, unsigned transactions screen, will be shown. I need to provide my password to confirm the transaction. And actually this amount will be sent to my friend. By the way, um, I will return on the left phone. To the chat screen and we'll briefly look in the wallet. So currently it shows uh, one ether because the transaction is not yet confirmed so we, sh we need to wait a bit and uh, we can also check the tra same transaction on Robston testnet by copying the uh, address of um, my wallet and let's say we can open robston etherscan.io site and search by this address this is in case you are not sure if transaction uh, was okay or if you spot some issue in the app so currently we see only one uh, in transaction for one Ether, one test uh, Ether that we have requested from Fawcett.
and we also have right now the second transaction, the uh, out transaction of this amount. So if you will check again wallet, we will see that um, the sum uh, that is remaining is a bit different. So it was one ether, percent uh, zero dot one ether, but uh, the uh, resulting sum, the uh, balance, current balance in the wallet, is not uh, what we would expect. At least uh, what we would expect the novice users. This is because uh, each transaction that we send uh, needs also uh, to pay some fee for the processing it. So if I will uh, tap on this transaction to get it, uh, its details, I can see that there is some fee. This one, that was also paid by my, my account. So uh, I've sent this amount to the network, actually to uh, someone who processed my transaction and uh, this amount to my friend. That's why my wallet has a different sum. Again, let's go back to one-to-one -one chat and see um, more examples on send comments. So I can send not only one transaction, but for example, I can send two. For this, on the unsigned transaction screen, I just tap on the uh, cross in the top left corner. And let's say I'm sending some more ether. I have uh, right now two transactions to sign. And I can uh, decide to cancel one of them or to confirm two. I also can just close them and uh, they also shown if I will go out from this chat how to get back to the screen uh, you can open this hamburger menu and you will see uh, two last transactions listed uh, here you can also tap on view all to get to the same unsigned transaction screen so I, I will confirm these transactions right now And you can see that uh, they have been sent. So we briefly looked at um, request and send comments. Uh, we also have browse comment, but this this comment is not related uh, to something that you can. Uh, sends to your friend. This is something that you can just use to browse any URLs in usual web or in the Ethereum network. So let's say I like to browse um, Google. Okay, Google does not like me. Let's browse BBC Co. UK. So this uh, the browser window that I can use. I can, uh, for example, tap on any news to read it. I can uh, use back button and forward button. And I also can my, um, resize the screen. So in this case, I can make it full screen just to concentrate only on browser. Or I can put it back and I can tap on back to return back. And of course I can type on this close button just to close the screen. So, um, just a few more things. Um, you can send several lines. For example, I'd like to type uh, my message in several lines and uh, for this I will press uh, return on keyboard to jump to the next line.
to copy any of the messages you need to long tap on the message and then you will have a possibility to copy it or to share it via different options if any URL is sent for example I like short URLs. Um, you can open it. You have choices how to open it. So you can open it in this inside status app by using this browse command, or you can launch it uh, in a separate web browser, the default browser on your device. And you will have some Dutch shop opened. I think that's it for now about uh, messaging part. You can also check some profile details of your uh, contact, the contact that you are talking with. So you tap on this uh, user profile picture. You see that there are some options that are not yet implemented, but you can also ta tap on profile and you will see uh, the uh, status that that user is uh, Having at the moment the status is, is user online or offline username profile picture uh, you can again start conversation with the user you can send transaction uh, it will just uh, uh, create insert send command into input field You can also see address of the user and public key of the user. You see that phone number is uh, listed here, but even if that user has profile number uh, in his profile, sorry, phone number in his profile, you will not see it here. I guess that's it about um, one-to-one -one chats and how to add uh, a user.